I got a juicy SEO episode for you today. If you didn't know, and you probably did, but if you didn't know, there was an update to Google's algorithm in March, and it changed everything. Not for me, because I do bottom of funnel search engine optimization, but for most people, it changed everything. The people who were doing the top of the funnel, the exploratory keywords who were targeting the keywords where people just were looking and exploring and learning not the purchase intent, not the demand generation keywords, the people who are just learning. And that's most people who are doing SEO. They target keywords like how to do so-and-so. Why does this happen? What is the best place for this? Middle and top of funnel. And content-based sites, there was another post that went viral. Was this, the post was content-based sites are getting obliterated by Google. And what was happening and continues to happen is Google is now highly, highly ranking Reddit and Quora above blogs, above articles. So if you, let's say if you had, I don't know, what are the best flowers and plants to have in your home office? If you had an article like that, and maybe you were ranking number one on Google, and let's say there was lots of content on Quora and Reddit for that subject. Now, because of this update, you might be ranking three or four, and Reddit would be in front of you, and Quora would be in front of you for the same things. Even if people just took your content, even if in the past somebody looked at your article and took what you said from your article and then pasted it on Reddit, and that would actually show in front of you on Google, and Reddit would get the traffic for that. And that's how crazy things are now. And so a lot of people who are doing search engine optimization are they're not having a good time. And that's a situation. But there was this thread that I looked at, an interesting thread on Reddit, on the search engine optimization subreddit of reddit.com, and it's titled, Google finally releases the reason why Reddit ranks first. This is from Search Engine Roundtable. Search Engine Roundtable has the best SEO daily newsletter, really great newsletter. And someone took something from that and put it here on Reddit. And so I'm going to read this because I think it's a good explanation for why Reddit and Quora are ranking number one above content-based sites. So this is what it says. Why does Google show it so often? So it as in Reddit. And so now this is a quote from Google's search liaison, Danny Sullivan. I also know some of the SEO folks who tend to be vocal on this platform, as in the platform is Twitter, on this platform really dislike seeing more forum content in our search results. But actual searchers seem to like it. They proactively seek it out. It makes sense for us to be showing it to keep the search results relevant and satisfying for everyone. And then he added, some actively seek this content. Others appreciate that we might show this relevant content, including forums, blogs, websites, whatever, as part of our results set overall. It's similar to other things. If you search for some news event, people generally don't expect to type in the topic and add news at the end. They expect we'll show news-related content naturally. Same thing with forum content. If they're looking for help, for example, about why their smart window blinds are disconnecting from an app, they may appreciate both what a manufacturer has to say, what some blogger that has reviewed them might say, as well as what people who have used them and shared on a forum might say. That's a real example I did yesterday in forum results I got solved my issue quickly, but I wouldn't have thought to name any particular forum to get there. So that's the basic of it. And then somebody commented in his analysis, he forgot the most important part. Reddit users use Google to search for posts on Reddit because Reddit search engine sucks. So now Google is no longer a search engine, but a Reddit search plugin slash add-on. So basically the argument is people will search on Google subject plus the word Reddit or subject plus the word Quora to get their answers because they want to get their answers from these forums because they are dissatisfied with the forum's own search engines, but also because they trust the forums more. They trust the UGC, the user-generated content, more than the blogger who might be incentivized with selling affiliate products or products that they never even tried, but they get a commission on. And so a lot of them are turning to Reddit and to Quora because these platforms tend to be more honest. That's the reason why this update was made. And, you know, Danny Sullivan, he said, I think this one line was a really good explanation. He said, if you search for some news event, people generally don't expect to type in the topic plus the word news at the end. They just expect that Google is going to show news-related content naturally. And it's the same with Reddit. People just want the best answers. And Google finds that if people are adding Reddit to a lot of these top-of-funnel queries, so these 
middle of funnel and top of funnel queries, Google's going to show Reddit more because they want to give searchers what they want. So searchers will continue to use Google. And I'm going to end this episode now with how this is being gamed because I read a few posts about this and I've seen it myself. So I've talked about Parasite SEO on the show before. That is when you, when you hijack a forum or websites existing high domain authority and prevalence in the search engine results pages to put in your own offers, your own sales stuff, your own links, your own affiliate links, or your own products. And doing that with bottom of funnel keywords where people know what they want, but they, they're searching Google because they don't know the brand that's going to give it to them. And so people are using this update from Google and just putting, instead of making the copy on their own websites, they're putting that on Reddit and on Quora. So this is what somebody said. This is actually the top comment for this post. And cue the Reddit parasite SEO and mass Quora, LinkedIn, and Medium too. Anyone else notice how Google is now extracting content from websites, showing it at the top of the SERPs, the SERPs mean search engine results pages, not crediting the sites they're taking this content word for word from and taking click throughs by the thousand. Yes, those sites utilize affiliate monetization, but those same sites are also investing countless dollars to have subject matter experts create useful content to provide the best user experience possible. We'll see how things will progress, I guess. Hopefully for the sake of these sites and these site owners' trust in Google, things change soon. And I read a post on Twitter about how people are just using this update for promoting their own affiliate products or their own products. And bottom of funnel, bottom of funnel search engine optimization, bottom of funnel keywords, which I talk a lot about on the show. I'm in the process. I'm so deep into making a product about it and I'm having so much fun. I think this product's going to be really good. But you target keywords that are at the bottom of the purchasing funnel where people just, they, they put a use case or exactly what they are looking to purchase into Google. And these keywords are oftentimes very overlooked because they're low search volume. And SEOs, they try to recommend to their clients and the companies that they work for, the sexy keywords, the ones with the high volume, the high search volume. But those are top of funnel usually and not purchase intent. And so these purchase intent keywords are always going overlooked. And so now, whereas people might put these keywords on their site and they're still doing that and you can totally still do that. I, I've explained why on other episodes, but even if your site is being scraped and you say, you say your product is the best for doing X, Y, and Z use case, ChatGPT or Reddit, they're still going to recommend that product. But SEOs are now doing the, that same copy, that same bottom of funnel copy on Reddit and Quora as well. And that is what's happening I just finished recording, but I've realized I left something out. So I want to be a bit more specific on what people are doing. People are literally, with the Parasite SEO stuff, people are literally targeting their keywords in posts and in the comments and then buying upvotes for the posts and the comments. And this gets their content, their UGC, their user-generated content to rank higher on Google. That's what is happening. Specifically, that's what is happening. Now, I want to say I don't recommend this. This goes against the terms of surface, so I, I can't recommend it but I'm sharing that is actually what is happening. Okay, now I'm going to jump back into the original recording. This was me realizing that I left something out. So I, I recorded again, and now this is back to the original recording. And it's a crazy, it's a crazy world out there in search engine optimization. And this is one of the biggest updates that has happened in a long time with Google. And it has changed everything, the way that everyone is doing their SEO. And I'm going to end with this. On the landing page that I, that I make for this product, you will see, but... The sites that I do bottom of funnel SEO with, the sites where I'm not targeting top of funnel keywords, but only bottom of funnel purchase intent keywords, my traffic has been unchanged, completely unchanged by this update because that's what works. And it's all white hat. It's not against the rules. It's all on my website. It's not Parasite SEO. It's all white hat. And it's what's working now. Demand generation keywords. That's what a lot of people are calling this. I call them actually, I have a term for these, compact keywords. That's what I'm using, but it, it, it's crazy. So I hope this was a good explanation, but this is what's happening in the, the wild world of SEO. I think it's really interesting. As I've explained, there's a lot of ways to use this knowledge and people are making tons of money doing this. This is episode 288 of my daily growth hacking and growth marketing podcast. What a great day I've had. I was so productive on this product. I'm, I, I'm genuinely excited. Today was the first day where I really feel a clear sense of direction on this. 
I spent the last couple of weeks figuring out how I want to structure the product, deliver the product, and especially do the landing page. The, the marketing is so important for any product. And I'm starting with the marketing because then I'll have cohesive branding throughout everything. You start with the marketing because the marketing is the most important part. You can make the best product in the world, but if you don't have good marketing, people aren't going to hear about it. So you start with the marketing. And then when you have the branding set and the marketing set, you can make the product reflect that marketing. So I'm figuring out the copy and then the branding and that branding is going to be reflected throughout the product. I'm just, it's, it's going to be good. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye now.